Hey beer tubers, long time no see guys. I know it's been a while since I posted a recently filmed video. Uh, just a short update on my life. I was homeless for about a month, finally found a place which is here in the Hayes Valley district of San Francisco. Um, also been really busy with music projects and performances. And also my camera kind of broke. So this is actually a camera that my friend Yoshi let me borrow. Thank you so much, Yoshi. Anyways, tonight I'm gonna to be trying out a beer that I've seen in the Bay Area for quite a while, but I never even bothered to try it. Um, maybe just because I've never heard of this brewing company, but this is actually by Knee Deep Brewing Company, and it is their Hoptologist. It is a 9% double IPA, and I felt like something really hoppy tonight, and this sounds pretty hoppy. So Knee Deep Brewing Company, uh, a lot of carbonation there. Uh, Knee Deep Brewing Company is located in Lincoln, California, which is like, where the heck is that? That's exactly where it is, where the heck is that? <laughs> um, it's a little northeast of Sacramento, so it's probably a good two hours or a little more from San Francisco. Uh, so it's really north of, Sa uh, wow, I smell. I smell the beer already. <laughs> Smells really great so far. Anyway, so it's around there. It's a small brewery. Uh, so let me go ahead and give it a try and see what Knee Deep Brewing Company is up to. Quite clear. It's got an orangish color. Uh, very minimal head. Let me check the aroma. Oh gosh. Wow. Wow. That smells really good. I mean, dare I say this, but it smells very similar to uh, Pliny the Elder. It has very strong grapefruit notes. It smells very, uh, uh, very, very uh, sweet. Got that, not like syrupy sweet, but more the, the fruity sweet, strong citrus, some of the grassy hoppy notes. Oh yeah, smells so good. We'll see how the taste match up to the smell. So here we go. Come bite. Wow. Sorry, I was kind of mesmerized. It that that actually tastes really, really good. Why didn't I even try it in the past? <laughs> this is really, really good. Wow. Oh, you want to know what it tastes like? Right, right. <laughs> Sorry, I was kind of like, this is good. So you get a lot of hops up front: the grassy, citrus, uh, grapefruit, uh, uh, orange peel, um, and then immediately this, the the malts really help back it up. So it's not just this hop bomb. Uh, it's, it's got quite a bit of this, uh, not so much tropical fruit, I would say. It's definitely this sweeter citrus uh, from the from grapefruit juice, like uh, tangerines, um, maybe like uh, some pineapple a bit, but I definitely get more of this grapefruit and orange tangerine kind of sweetness to it. Mm. And it's nice and juicy all around. Dare I say it tastes pretty close to Pliny the Elder. Now, I know a lot of you are gonna be like, what that boy is saying, he's crazy. No, really, the overall flavor and the e e even some of the, the, the hot profile is somewhat similar to Pliny the Elder. And I believe Pliny the Elder may have, uh, or this, uh, the hoptologist has a similar hop profile as, uh, or the, the hop ingredients as Pliny the Elder. Uh, that's a strong possibility because it, 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 it is very similar. Now. I will say that it's not as it's not as complex. It's not as multi-dimensional as Pliny the Elder is, um, but it has great flavor. <laughs> and I, I'm someone that I'm not I'm not someone that really gravitates towards Pliny the Elder. It's, it's not my favorite double IPA, which seems like it's a total waste because I only have to pay 450 for a uh, 500 milliliter. I know a lot of you guys hate me. It's just not really my favorite double IPA. But this sucker I like a lot, and I don't know what about it. I think it's the, the juicy aspect of it. It's, it's, it's quite juicy, um, but the hops is so interesting at the same time. The the way it, it balances out each other, I love. I, I just love the balance of this, I, I guess. Um, it's quite tasty. <laughs> uh, for uh, seven bucks for a bummer for this quality, man, this might be my go-to double IPA. I'm really impressed. I think this beer, has gotten me interested in this brewery, a Knee Deep Brewing Company. I want to try their, their other beers and if it really matches up to this. Um, I will tell you that if you look on Beer Advocate, 
dot com uh, that I think it gets an overall eighty, an eight zero eighty, which is, I'm really surprised because I think this is way better than an eighty. I mean, it's at least an A minus for me. I'm gonna have to say my personal taste kind of coincides with this rating, but I'll have to give it an A. Probably an A minus is a little more uh, objective rating, but I just think this is really, really good. I mean, like I said, it's not as <clears throat> exactly no, it's, it's not as multi-dimensional as Pliny the Elder is, and how they accomplish such amazing flavors. Is Pliny, Pliny the Elder is definitely not an overrated beer. It deserves the hype, but. This uh, Hoptologist, I think is really, really good. This was the Hoptologist by Knee Deep Brewing Company, a really small brewery up in Lincoln, California, wherever the heck that is, right? Um, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in hopefully sooner than later, the my beer blogs. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Come by.